Hey, welcome back to Power On Live here at the second annual Momentum Expo being held at the Ed Roberts campus in beautiful Berkeley, California. The weather's nice, so if you're in the area, come on by. I got a few more hours to check us out live. We have some seating for a live audience if you want to join us. And uh, now's the best time to be with us because we have the editor and very handsome guy, Todd Kerr, joining us for the second time. He was with us last year when we did this for the first time. He was such a good guest. And the people loved you so much that we decided to bring you back. <laughs> <laughs> well, you make it easy. I, I just sit here, you make all the magic. Well, I appreciate that. That's very nice. Speaking of magic, talk about uh, the Berkeley Times, which is your paper. Now presenting all right. wheelchair marketing and tether shop programming. That's what happens. It's a live show. You never know what's going to happen. But that gives you an idea of how much there is going on. Well, there's a lot going on. And it's a, it's a lot going on. But when they have to make announcements like that, that means a lot is going on. Yeah. Okay. Just want yeah. to make that clear. Just getting to the parking lot was something. <laughs> I know you have to navigate through the parking lot. Yeah. Food trucks, games, is a whole, whole bunch of stuff uh, out there. Uh, basketball. Wheelchair basketball yes. out there, right? Yes. Curling, did you get involved in that? I, the curling wasn't happening when I parked my bike right next to the curling court. So if you, you see a nice bike next to the curling, that's fine. There you go, okay. Yeah. So uh, tell us about this. Uh, this has been around for how long? Okay, uh, we are uh, in the middle of our ninth year. Wow. Yeah. Uh, already, I, I'm already beginning to think about our uh, 10 years. We'll have to have some uh, celebrations of some kind. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we, uh, we started nine years ago with a vision of creating a community newspaper. Hmm. And I'm very specific about that because it's not American journalism as it's, uh, you know, the tradition right. of American journalism. Uh, we're story-based. And um, I think, I, in my mind, we haven't done anything new since we started. But I think since we have been at it uh, and people have gotten accustomed of what we do, I think we've become more relevant and more penetrating, more resonant, if you will, with the community. Um, and, and so in that way, uh, you know, we're, I, it feels like we're ripening or maturing in a, in a really good way. Do you stick to just, I know it's called the Berkeley Times, of course, it's a community paper, but do you also touch on things that are not Berkeley based or things that are, that tie into Berkeley on some way that could resonate on a national level or international level? Demo. I want to go to the fitness demo, but <laughs> yeah. not yet. Not yet. Okay, I got to answer this question. All right. Well, you're you're talking about something that's very relevant to our paper, okay? And something we wrestle with as we produce every day. And that is, what are the boundaries of Berkeley? Okay. Okay. So we really define our publication as a publication that reflects the community of Berkeley. So, to the extent the Berkeley community gets involved in national issues, that will end up being reflected in our paper. But we do not seek out no right right. It would have to national importance. It would have to tie into Berkeley on some level. Right. Okay. And we, as a paper, are uh, we never opine on any matter. Mm -hmm. So there's all kinds of opinions that want to be expressed right now, but we do not author those. Interesting. Uh, there are people in Berkeley that have opinions yeah. and submit them to us and we publish those. In fact, uh, we did print a letter from the mayor, Jesse Erdogan, uh, responding to um, a recent Trump matter and, um, and that found its way into our paper. Hmm. But as a uh, editorial staff, we do not impose our opinions on the community ever. And uh, we, you know, like I said, we don't argue the news. Um, or re-argue the news. Mm. And I think a lot of uh, traditional um, American journalistic uh, newspapers do just that. They're constantly arguing. And to us, that actually um, ends up being unconsciously exclusive. And we, we just don't, we're not interested in that. We want to make this paper something that people that live here or are uh, very involved in this community open up, see themselves, experience themselves, and resonate with that. You know what, Todd? That sounds like a good attitude. Oh. Now, I bring that up because when I teased your appearance here, I said that you might be talking about attitude, and it's something you brought up before you came on the air. What did you mean by that? You want to talk about attitude. Well, I think uh, attitude is very important, and I even forget how important it is. Mm. Um, but just by the fact that we are so principled about our approach to community news, um, issues of attitude always come up. 
And I, I just want to grab the yeah. most recent edition. Okay. So um, on the cover is a, a winning artwork from the recent Indulci Jubilo. Let's show people that. Yeah, look at oh, that. I got I have to. There's camera. Right. Wow. And um, th that artwork, uh, it's a watercolor mm -hmm. by Karina Clark, who is a fifth grader at Berkeley Arts Magnet. And uh, I saw the awards presentation. I was so compelled um, that I was able to get the artwork from the committee, and it found its way onto the front page. That is fantastic. I mean, that's fantastic. But what an eye grabber! It is an eye grabber. But th I think the deeper point here is that this most recent edition, um, and I deliver some newspapers that we have a civic distribution and I handle part of that. So I was the guy walking around with double rainbows this week. And you know, it's just a newspaper, but I promise you, if you actually were the guy delivering double rainbows around Berkeley, it would change your life. And at one point, yeah, and I'm just doing it, right? It's just, it's part of my life, but, yeah. you know, just, and I'm walking up to the city administration building with a stack of these papers, and someone pulls out their camera and starts taking pictures of me. I'm like, what, like, what are you deliver, doing? They're following you around with the camera as you deliver these yeah, double they rainbow were, They were just seeing the, the bigger picture, and I wasn't. And I think they, they were like, look, this man with double rainbows is <laughs> showing up in City Hall. <laughs> picture. And you know, it was arresting. And then, of course, they sent me the picture, and I forget, actually, how important it is um, that we make spaces for you and for a publication that actually did just that and to be the guy walking it around, you know, that actually in itself becomes news. And it, I, I, I'm, it, that made me very proud. That's very interesting. Uh, an interesting take on delivering a paper. And where else but in Berkeley, California, would you have the editor of a paper delivering the paper? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I and mean, then, it, and then of course, you know, the other things happen. So I get on the elevator. I'm de delivering it to the fifth floor, and I bump into this school superintendent and the mayor. And we have a quick chat, and they're all looking at this paper. And it's just, it's a small town, Berkeley. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And a fun place to visit. And yeah. and so, and this Momentum Expo is really catered to this city, yeah. this town, right? Yeah. No, well. And beyond. And beyond. But I'm just saying that if there's anywhere, if, if this could be anywhere. This is a great place for it to be because of the accessibility here, because of the understanding of the rights that are needed by people who uh, need accessibility and, and transportation. And so I just think that this is a perfect marriage. Well, let's, a little bit, let's talk about that a little bit more because I, I, I think I completely agree. Yeah. But I think in the way you say that, I'm wondering if you're actually capturing the attitude that is native to here or what I see here. And what so just like we work really hard to create space mm -hmm. for others not necessarily our opinions but the opinions of others right and not necessarily our works but the artworks of others emerging artists uh and i can keep talking about that because we have some new artists in this edition that i'm really proud of too but what i see happen in berkeley and what i see happen at the cil and what i'm seeing here today is a lot of people making space for others mm -hmm. Right? There's a lot of very interesting technologies today. I was only able to see half, and I'm going to work the other half of the room on my way out. Good. There are people here that have thought a lot about uh, real problems in the world, mm -hmm. and they are offering creative solutions. But actually, you know, how those technologies are deployed and, you know, and actually assimilated into people's lives is very interesting. Sure. And it's going to be different for everybody, mm -hmm. depending on what it is, the obstacles they're wrestling with. And that to me is interesting. It's, these are offerings, these are gifts. And that's something I see happen in Berkeley every day. Mm -hmm. It's a community that is not as, it's thinking about problems. It has some ideas, but it actually is creating space for others to solve their own problems. And I think that is the most important thing going on in the world right now, is people creating space for others to do what they do. Right. And be your own normal. Hey, I just got a t-shirt. Be your own normal. All right. While you get that t-shirt out and show people, uh, let me just say thank you for joining us. Once again, Todd Kerr, editor of the Berkeley Times. Second time here on our Power On Live. There it is right there. That's a very cool shirt that you can get if you register when you get here to this event. Uh, second annual Momentum Expo. We'll be back with more Power On Live coming at you right after this. Stick around.
Thanks, buddy.